And Rob begins his grand final campaign. Do not look away from your TV set. This guy set the fastest time of the night in his semi. Oh, through the broken bridge. I just thought I got there to see it. He is a man in a hurry, no doubt, Freddie. Really rapid start. He is fast. Currently four seconds faster than Alex Matthews, who's at the top of the leaderboard. He's on his way down the ring jump already. Look at this. And without missing a beat, he is on to the I-beam. I tell you what, never have I seen ninjas going as fast as this. All of them tonight putting big shifts in, putting a spurt on. Time check here, Freddie. He is eight seconds ahead of Alex Matthews. There he goes up the warp wall. Three obstacles to go. Let's have a look at the time. He's got two minutes 30 left on the clock. Gets harder from here, though, Ben, but with that time, he can afford to slow down. But he won't, Rob Patterson. He was the fifth fastest in our grand final last year. And the skill of turning those dice over, other ninjas have struggled at this point, but they just don't seem to be posing any threat or any trouble to this 22-year-old ninja. However, as we saw with Luke Williams, if they go off their rungs at all, then you can be in a nightmare scenario. But Rob Patterson... This is not a nightmare. This is an absolute dream for Rob Patterson. He's 13 seconds ahead of Alex on the squirrel. Big swings. This is something to watch. Yes. He's nearly top of the car going, that's already. Well, he has to climb a couple. Oh, man, ain't Rob? So strong, so agile. The smile on his face says it all. He is laughing this up. Was well, this going to be the fastest time of the night so far? Still 1 minute 35 seconds on the clock as he rushes over to the chimney climb. You know what? Backstage at the moment, there are a heap of grand finalist ninjas saying, oh, what the hell? Yes. He did it in what time? What is going Rob on Patterson on Ninja Island? hits the buzzer with a minute 18 left on the clock. 20 seconds faster than Alex Matthews. Rob Patterson, you have just carved this course up tonight. And Rob completed the first six obstacles in less than a minute, and that set him on a trajectory that was unstoppable. This guy is a contender. This guy could go all the way tomorrow night.